60% in 2020. Okay, here's fun facts about LinkedIn. Content creation increased 60% in 2020. Live streams increased by 437% in 2020. 57% of traffic is mobile. It is 15 times more content impressions than job postings. Ads offer more than 200 targeting characteristics. 55 million companies are on it. More than half of the U.S. marketers will be using it in 2021. And then 49% of the users earn 75,000 per year. Now, that's just a sliver of little statistics. There, there's a ton of this kind of stuff. But I get my point is, it's not being used to the capacity it is. And clearly, we as real estate agents of our group don't know how to use it properly and need to learn how. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, right on the head. <laughs> That's what we're going to show you is how to set up your profile property to boost your business. This, the second half will show you, which will be another day, how to market yourself and get leads from LinkedIn. But that can't happen until you set up your profile properly. And it is not intuitively obvious. So we have the slide deck and if anybody PMs me and we'll say it through the class on Workplace, I will share the slide deck because it's complicated. And if you miss a step, you can't get to the next step. And if it's follow the slide deck, it's kind of like a beta or what to do in what order. So the most important part of getting business on LinkedIn is setting up your profile properly, which is a complicated technology issue. And that's what we're gonna deal with today. Well, here's a great thing. We always record these sessions, and so people can always replay them if they need to, and they can visit you because you teach classes. So you can let them know about your classes that you teach also beyond here, what you teach, I think, in a university, correct? At the yeah. mm -hmm. So we can find you in the world. You are, you are now live on Facebook in the Seniors Network group as well as um, this is being recorded. So everybody, please know this is being recorded. Heather, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Donald Mika. Well, hello everybody from the Seniors Network Group. Um, I wanna welcome our board members, Donald Mika, say hello, and Debbie Gentry and Laura, wherever you are, Laura. I uh, hope you're- Hello. Hi, Donald. Hello. <laughs> uh, Hi, Debbie and Laura, are you here? And I'm here. Yes. There she is. Hello. So just to let you know, this is our board. We really, this is what we do. We put these things together and we love educating because I was just having this conversation with Beth Ellen. As all of you guys know, we don't really know much about this area. And after pulling the statistics, I was shocked and my floor hit the, my jaw hit the floor. And I said, oh my gosh, Beth Ellen, yes, you have to teach this class. And so I put out statistics yesterday on a post. And in that post that happened at 3 p.m. yesterday till today, we've, we've gotten to 20 more new members. So clearly it's an avenue that we're not marketing to, and it needs help from somebody who knows how to market themselves. And I kind of overheard you talking about how many new people and connections that you've made just by starting this new LinkedIn system you're doing, correct? That's correct. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm gonna introduce you and then you can let us tell, tell us all about it. Beth Allen is here with her son um, to talk about LinkedIn. And so this is gonna be a two-part series. It is recorded, so you will be able to see it. And Austin, Beth Ellen, I'm gonna let the two of you take it away and tell us a little bit about yourself and Beth Ellen, the floor is yours. All right, well, I'm agent 61 at EXP. I am the founding the broker, uh, managing broker for the state of Nevada. I'm no longer the managing broker because it's much more fun to teach you and to actually sell real estate. But I love this company and have been in it from the beginning. And, I'm here to, but we all need more business. I got my real estate license in 1980. So October, Halloween will be 41 years for me. And 
it's a great way to earn a living. But I, like you, Heather, paid no attention to LinkedIn. When I, before we started teaching this, I had all 261 connections. But my son, who's going to introduce himself in a minute, said, Mom, you have to do LinkedIn. And that, so we, present, we prepared this presentation. And now I have 1,200. It just went up in six months just from doing these things. And I have gotten business from it. So Austin, I owe everything to you because he insisted I learned about LinkedIn. So floor is yours. Yeah, Austin Rosenthal. I spent 21 years uh, on Wall Street and recently just left and started my own business. So I'm kind of an entrepreneur like you all are trying to grow my business out in the world and my own personal brand. And when I left financial services to start my own career and needed to use social media, when I looked across, yeah, I maybe had a thousand followers on Instagram, maybe a thousand on Facebook. I wasn't on TikTok. Mom got me on TikTok. But I had and currently have almost 8,500 connections on LinkedIn. Um, so I decided because I was pretty active in the professional world and pretty well connected. And that's how I uh, had a good, good brand on LinkedIn and, and a good franchise there. I decided that I was really going to make LinkedIn my primary social media for growing my fledgling business. And it's been uh, so far so good, successful. I've got a lot of work to go, but mom and I started talking and I know she does all these great classes teaching at the university. And thank you so much for having us. And we're just excited to share what we've learned uh, in terms of using LinkedIn, like you said, Heather, and some of the statistics you were mentioning earlier, each social media platform has its own unique audience and usage. And I think not a lot of people have figured out how to use LinkedIn for business, but it can be a very powerful platform because it's basically a platform of 700 million plus professionals out there in the world and these can be all very valuable leads and, and prospects for for your real estate uh, business so that's why we're doing it all right uh, somebody asked um yeah. what were your thoughts on the paid version versus the free version yeah great question or if it's something you're going to get into we can wait until then no we can yeah. certainly talk about it uh I was a premium LinkedIn member through my company when I worked there, and it has some really powerful tools. I we were on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and the searches that you can run in LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can go by zip code, job title. Um, so it, it, it has some very powerful functionality, but, you know, that... And it depends on how much you want to invest in it. It can be anywhere from $50 a month to $80 a month. And I really think that you need to do some of these things that we're going to talk about in our class today and maybe, you know, in the following session that you can do it for free on your site. And if you start having success, I think then maybe you make the investment. I think the investment may not be worth it unless you've got all your ducks in a row with your profile, you're starting to make articles, you're posting on a twice or thrice a week basis, and you're really seeing some momentum. I think then you explore the premium. Just by having premium isn't going to get you business if you're not doing some of these table stakes things that we're gonna talk about over this week and, and the following or another week in the future. Did that answer the question? So, so Greg, you, I think so. I for me it did. Yes, Greg says yes. All right. So my favorite four-letter word is free. So I do everything free until I hit the boundary and then I pay. So that's my thing. All right. So here is my um, home page. Before. Okay. Or is this your current home? This is current. Okay, good. All right. So here's, the, I would like to, Jerome Lewis kind of uh, pioneered this way of teaching. And I think it really works. It's kind of a workshop. So I would like everybody to go to their LinkedIn profile 
and follow along. You're not going to fill it out, but at least you're going to know where things are. And so then if you're lost and can't find something, please chime in and we'll help you. And if you ask the same question three times, that's okay, because we want you to get it. But just watching this probably won't be as effective as if you follow along and see where things are. Does that make sense? Okay, so here's how you get to your profile. You click on your name to the left of your newsfeed. So there's my name and my picture. See the news feeds in the middle and on the left, and you're gonna click on your name to the left of the news feed to get to your profile. So this is my profile. Um, is everybody there? Are we good? Okay. So the first thing you wanna do is add a background photo. And so this is a house in a really nice part of Las Vegas. How do you do that? You click on the pencil in the photo area, okay? And you also, if you don't want a picture, you can make any kind of diagram in Canva. So whatever you wanna do, but add the graphic first. And you do that by clicking on the pencil in the photo area. Any questions on this? Are we good? And one, Ma, one point you know, that you were talking about before, I don't know if everybody heard, but when we first did this class and started talking about this process, you had how many followers? 200 something? 261. So now you've grown your followers by 500% in three months. No, it was April. Oh, it was April? Okay, so even, even longer. Uh, but, and the other thing I wanna say is over here, your latest posts, as of when you took the screenshot had 1100 views. I don't think any of your posts had more than a couple hundred views before you were doing this. So the work that you've been doing has definitely increased your audience and we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is add the pencil right next. Okay, so now we're gonna edit the intro pro, uh, profile first and you click on through the pencil under the program, uh, photo. And this is very important because this is what people are going to see first. So there is my name. I added my phone number next to my name. So it always comes there. I picked a pronoun. It's really important to have a headline. And then I put my current position. <clears throat> and then scroll down. Uh, we'll get there in a minute. But remember, the headline is your hook. So of all the things in this editing your intro, Whatever you put in the headline is the most important part. So think about that long and hard before you, um, that's really gonna be critical to your success. Any questions? We good? Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna do the contact info and it's, it's on that blue. See, I have an arrow there where it says contact info and we're gonna click on this and we're gonna add things including website, KB Core, and your social media handles. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you clicked on that contact info. And so I have my LinkedIn profile, my website, my phone number, my address, my email. Now my birthday is February 8th, nobody can forget. So this is your contact info. And this is what it looks like when it's complete. Any other questions? We're gonna to get to how to add KB Core in a minute. We good? Okay, next. Um, this is critically yeah. important. This is really, 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 really important. You have to turn on creator mode. Most people ignore this. They don't know what creator mode is, but it is super, super, super important. And it's just a toggle switch. I have turned it on. Austin's gonna tell you why. You have to be in creator mode. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, a couple of things. One. Uh, you're going to go higher in the LinkedIn algorithm because LinkedIn, Heather, kind of like you said, uh, started out really just as a job searching site, a networking site. I think Microsoft, you know, Microsoft bought them several years ago, and they have a goal of generating $10 billion of revenue a year. And they're not going to do that just by job searching. So what they decided is to follow the path of other social media platforms and um, do a couple of things. One, 
be there for big advertisers and small advertisers for companies like you mentioned, Heather. There's a lot of uh, companies on there that are using LinkedIn to advertise. Um, and they, they also, there are so many more posts now about, um, you know, by creators. So by really in content creation and LinkedIn, you're going to go higher in the algorithm. You're going to grow your network quicker and you're going to get special benefits from LinkedIn by being a creator versus not being a creator. So if this is one of the most important takeaways we can tell you today, go to your dashboard and turn, make sure creator mode is on because then uh, you are going to be, have a good foundation for getting your creative content out there. One other thing, which is breaking news. I just got an email from LinkedIn today. So a couple of things you get as a creator. One, the LinkedIn emails you from time to time and asks you to create articles that will go into their LinkedIn news feed. I was actually featured over the summer by LinkedIn news and my post got over 10,000 views, uh, which is huge. It's basically, you know, free advertising if they pick you up. And I think if you go back here and you can see under LinkedIn news on your free profile, if if you get selected, you get thousands or tens of thousands of, of impressions by being in LinkedIn News, and you're not going to be in there unless you're a creative. The other thing that I just got today, which is interesting for those of you that are, are creators uh, or, or become creators today, LinkedIn has allocated $25 million. They just launched this today, and you've got a month to apply, but they are going to pick uh, 10 or 15,000 people, I forget exactly what it is, that they are going to give a $15,000 grant for content creation, as well as provide free resources and expertise for you as a LinkedIn creator through their brand new creator incubation network. And I actually got the email today. I submitted my application. It takes about 20 or 30 minutes. You got to talk about what you're going to use the fifteen thousand dollars for, um, but who doesn't want free money to help grow their business? So the bottom line is creator mode critical. Next, next slide. Okay, so here's how you grow your audience with creator mode. Um, you can read that later. This is the big secret. All right, so yeah, I had five hundred eighty followers when we first did this, and now it's twelve, so it's doubled. All right. So when you get in creator mode, you can add five of your most important topics, which become hashtags and show up under your headline. And don't forget to hit the save button. So my topics were blog, investing, real estate, and Las Vegas homes. So once you get to creator mode, this is the next screen and you get to pick five topics. Any questions on how to do this so far? And of course, be sure to save it because it won't if you don't hit the button. And maybe for this group, you know, senior real estate or, you know, anything related to seniors might be a great uh, topic to add to your, in, into your five. Yeah, great. So you get to pick the hashtags. All right. Now we're going to, we're going to add things. So we're going to um, add sections. So it's under your name. See, we had contact information and we have followers connections. And now we're going to hit add section and this pull down menu comes down and we're going to fill out all of this. And this is, it's a lot of work, but you got to do it. So first we're going to do the about. Okay. And so you can see I've written um, who I am and what I am about. So you've got to complete the about section. You just write about who you are. Any questions? You good? Okay, here's the about what they're gonna ask. So um, we're gonna do background. So somebody asked last time, how do you add state licensing disclosures? Cause you know, in Texas, where once upon a time I was licensed, there's all these documents you have to 
uh, have disclosure documents. So we're going to show you how to add your required real estate licensing disclosures. So in the about sections, you're going to go to background. And then it says licenses and certifications. See that? Next slide, please. And hey, so after you hit li licenses and certifications, here's where you fill that out. And as you can see, I'm a senior real estate specialist. But this um, is my uh, credentials. But if you're in Texas and you need to put those uh, disclosure documents in or anything else in any other states, this is how to do it. Any questions? Because this is important if, because you don't want to get crosswise with your real estate division. We good? Okay, so then you're going to fill out the 411, all the information in the rest of the categories. So, that's the work experience, education, skills, accomplishments, languages. You're just gonna go to the add section and just keep going down to the pull down menu and just keep filling this stuff out. Uh, it's gonna take a while, so you're not gonna do it all in a day, but be sure that you fill this all out. Anything else to add? Nope. We're good. Okay, so this was my work experience uh, when I had it completed. So I was the managing broker for six years and seven months. All right, next. Okay, then we're gonna hit add section. And this is another clue. See where it says featured? This is where you're gonna put your featured posts. And it's really important. Um, next and I time. think this is only available for creators. Okay. Okay, so if you wanted to learn about anything, here's the LinkedIn um, marketing uh, URL. I just put it in there in case you want to follow their advice instead of ours. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So you want to add a link for your featured section. for your featured yeah. section. So it can be a website or a document or a video, and this is where you put in the link, and then you hit add. Okay. So this is how I added my KV Core URL and a description with a hook. So I want people to come to my KV Core site. So I put the, my, I got my URL from my KV Core site and I put it right there. I pasted my KV Core website URL right there. And then you write a headline and what it is. And it, the picture comes from KV Core. And this is how you add your KV Core URL to your LinkedIn profile. So this is really important and tricky. Any questions? on how to do that. And this is in the featured section. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that, this is in the featured section. You can see this is my KV Core website, bethellenrosenthal.exprealty.com. Does that look familiar? So in my um, LinkedIn profile, the first featured thing I have is my KV Core website. Okay, but then you can add more. So you hit the plus button and you add more featured things that anything you want. Okay, next. That's the end of that section. Yeah. Just one, one more thing, you know, again, going back to the beginning about you grew your connections by, you doubled them. Uh, before you had 26 views of your profile, 179 post views and 13 search appearances. I saw from your homepage now, you've had 200 and something people view your profile, which is 10 times. And you've had over 1,100 people read your latest post, which is again, almost 10 times. So just by doing the things that we talked about over the last three, four months, you've, you have increased your audience and your impact considerably. It was April 16th, so that's May, June, July, August, September. That's five months of growth. Just doing these things for the presentation. So it absolutely gets eyeballs. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so now we're going to start building the network. And so you're going to go to the My Network, which is right on top next to the home page, next to the home side. Okay. Okay, so LinkedIn, LinkedIn recommends connections to your network. So you're gonna connect with as many of these people as possible. And it's so then because the more connections you have, the better, it's a numbers game. 
And Austin can tell you about how this works. Right. So um, your, your network is obviously very important. Uh, and the numbers are very important. And here's how LinkedIn works. So let's say Beth Allen makes a post and I like it and comment on it. Now, LinkedIn is going to show her post to my entire network of 8,000 plus people. So this is the way that you can use your network to exponentially get your content seen and interacted with. Because I'll give you another example. My 8,000 connections, so I have 8,000 plus people that I'm connected to. LinkedIn calls that first connections. And then there are people that I'm connected to, they're connected to, those are called second connections. And again, in a similar way, if I post something and one of my 8,000 connections likes it and comments it and even shares it to their network, now I've opened up their network for me as well for that, the content. That's how LinkedIn's algorithm works. And I, when I had the premium LinkedIn sales navigator, I ran a search of all of my first and second connections. And because of my 8,000 connections and the people they're connected to, which happen to be pretty well-connected people, I actually have access to almost a million professionals on LinkedIn that are my second connection. So as I'm creating content and getting my connections to interact with my content, that is opening up that entire universe of second connections, which is literally exponential because it's everybody else's connections of the people that you're connected to. And you only get that by growing your network, having you know connected people follow you and having great content that people interact with. And so this part of the presentation is how to grow your network. So LinkedIn recommends who you should connect with. And so you just press the button and connect. Now, there is one thing about this is um, every week LinkedIn caps you on the number of invitations that you can make. I would recommend, and I think you've been doing this, you try and connect with as many people as possible until LinkedIn says you have no longer any more weekly invitations. And then you start all over again when it resets. So because I don't want to leave anything on the table in any given week, I want to try and connect with as many people as possible to grow my network. And I let LinkedIn tell me when it's time to stop, <laughs> which they will. But I think it's about 100 or 150 uh, invitations you get to make every single week. So you can really grow your network significantly like you have over the last several months. Yeah, every Monday I go in and connect. And then Tuesday I go in and connect. And by Thursday I'm done. But you just hit the connect button. And I mean, there's 65,000 of us at eXp Realty. So hopefully enough of them are on LinkedIn that keeps you busy for quite a while. All right. So also there's who viewed your profile. And so you certainly want to click on everyone who viewed your profile because then they cared about you. Yeah, and Heather, to your question or to the question from the group earlier about should you do premium or not, um, you know, this is a feature that they've started locking down. You can only see a couple of people, the first, the last several people who viewed your profile. When you're on premium, you can actually see who viewed your profile. Uh, everybody, and that can obviously be very valuable because you can see if potential customers or potential centers of influence for you that can help you get customers are viewing your profile. Um, so that that is something to consider. But again, I think that's that's something once you really get rolling to so investigate. I have a question. Um, yeah. You know, I hear a lot of like content creation and and other things. Is there ways, and I don't know if this is like a, I don't, a faux pas or whatever you want to call it, or a, a something you can't do. Um, is there a way that like you can do TikToks or Facebook posts or that and feed it to your LinkedIn? Or do people not do really put their TikToks and that type of video stuff up on LinkedIn? Because I don't I, see much of it. I put my TikToks on there. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's an easy way, you know, because it's Microsoft owns LinkedIn and Facebook's over here and, you know, they don't want to kind of 
Take so, over so you know, you can go Facebook to Instagram all you want, that, that vice versa. But what I do is when I create content, it goes on every single platform. Uh, for me, you have something that manages it that across all those platforms because you that, know. Yeah, that would, be, <laughs> that would be that would be wonderful. I I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, Unfortunately, so every time I do content, it takes me 30 to 45 minutes to do it across all platforms. But, you know, once you've got your video from TikTok or Facebook or whatever, it's very easy to post it on LinkedIn. And I might change my uh, verbiage, you know, on Instagram and Facebook. For me, it's a little more personal. LinkedIn, I try and keep it more work related. Uh, you know, or business related or job related. Um, and that seems to, uh, to, to resonate better with the LinkedIn network. But it doesn't mean that you can't use the same videos or content or blog posts or whatever that you're doing across the board on other social media platforms. So, so Heather, I'm into repurposing. So I have um, my own blog and then I have I concentrate on two, Google slash YouTube and LinkedIn. And I really pay attention to those and work hard because I sell real estate and I don't have time to do this all day. However, when I do a blog, I also post it on Facebook. When I do a TikTok, I post it on my, actually, I don't do Facebook. I put it on Instagram and let it feed it to Facebook. But I do that as a repurposing. I don't really care about it. I just want it out there. But I really get dove deep into Google, which is guides and YouTube and, and, and LinkedIn. I really believe that you, if you really concentrate on one or two, you're going to be an expert at it. You're going to know it and algorithm is going to know you. And most of the influencers aren't influencers in all of them. They're in one of them. So you got to pick one or two that you're just great at and then repurpose it at, at will for the others. That's just my attitude just because I'm actually busy selling real estate. And you'll write your blog and then put it in as a LinkedIn article. Yes. Every time I write, I have a blog called Four Letter Friday, free fun in Las Vegas, free being my favorite four letter word, as I said before. And every Friday I post it in LinkedIn and I get lots of viewers and Many of them are never coming to Las Vegas. They're just curious about what's to do for free this weekend. So always. Did that answer your question? Are there any yes, other? thank you. All right. Let's go back to, I'm sorry. For, there we go. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, be sure to connect with everybody who's viewed your profile because they're interested in you, obviously. Okay. All right, on the right side of your profile page are people, also people you want to connect with. It's people you may know. And so these are just ways to expand your LinkedIn network by clicking on who they think might be a good fit for you. Well, and I'll give you some sales tactics. Again, I was in institutional sales for 20 plus years. And what LinkedIn shows you in your My Network tab, if you go, when it recommends It'll recommend people that work at your company. It'll recommend people that went to co the college or university you went to. And it'll recommend people in your local metropolitan area. And it'll even recommend people uh, that, 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 again, other people viewed when they viewed your profile or, or because you seem to be interested in this, it'll recommend new people. Um, I think this is very, very powerful stuff because obviously if you have a local business and you're doing real estate locally, you definitely want to connect with all those people that happen to be in your metropolitan area. It can also be very powerful. You know, alumni networks are great centers of influence, uh, you know, and, and again, LinkedIn does all of that work for you by showing, you know, here's people that went to your university, here's people in your town, here's people that work at your company. So definitely leverage uh, the My Network section to grow your network on a weekly basis. So I just noticed this. Look at the bottom, Jessica Witeska. To bring anything into your life, imagine it's already there. That's, That's her headline. That's her yeah. hook. 
Yeah. Now, isn't that more interesting than real estate agent at EXP Realty or realtor with the Reback Central Las Vegas? Um, the hook is really important. I don't know if I'd use a quote, but that just caught my eye other than licensed realtor at EXP Realty. So really work on your hook, on your profile, because it, all, it shows up everywhere. Okay, so now we're going to the um, activity section. And so it reviews your activity for the post you created in the last 90 days. And uh, you can also start a post from here. And so these are some of my posts. So here's some of the analytics. You select a post and then it'll show you who liked it and commented. And it, you can check out how many views you got. And then just like every other social medium that when you like every comment, you reply back and you follow the person. That just applies to whatever social medium you pick. And like other social media platforms, LinkedIn's algorithm is going to show your content uh, to more people, uh, the more interactions you get, the more reactions, likes, comments, shares, you going back and, and liking and replying and getting into a conversation there, they love that. So this is something that you definitely want to do uh, to drive not only interaction and views of your content, but ultimately it'll drive people to view your profile. And I, have, I think I've had over 2,500 people view my profile in the last 90 days, which is incredibly valuable when you're trying to grow your brand and let people know what you're all about. And, and what, once again, this applies to every social medium, not just LinkedIn, but this is definitely what you have to do here. Okay, so here's the network analytics. It's important to know who you are reaching. And it's funny, I have a bigger following in my old home state of Texas than I do in Las Vegas, where I've been for 20 years. But it's good to know. So this is... And this is by clicking the 205 views of your video or however many interactions you have in your activity section when you go to a post. You can see how many views it's gotten. You click on that and it'll show you, you know, again, performance statistics of how long people watched it, et cetera. But even more important, your audience. So, you know, where are you getting these views from? What types of people, what companies, et cetera, et cetera. And this is all free. I don't, I'm not a premium member. Right. So these stats all come with your free participation. And this is for every post. You just click on the analytics on each post and you get this kind of data. Hey, Beth Ellen. Yes, hi, Debbie. Hey, I was trying to click on my views and it just sits there and looks at me. Am I doing something wrong? Huh. So if you try and click that, nothing shows up? Nothing shows up. It just said that. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, let's. Uh, can we contact Debbie back uh, we afterwards? Can. I know we'll we'll take find... that offline, and we'll we'll, we'll have do to a share screen, and we'll figure that out. Good question, though. Okay. Next. Okay. So this is how to build your audience. First, find a post you like in the news feed. So when we made this, oh, go yeah, ahead. Debbie, are you a creator, by the way? Maybe, maybe you have to be a creator to see that. Is your creator mode on? Do you know? Maybe maybe take a look. Well, we, we can talk about it offline, but anyway, go ahead. So all of this is from a creator mode. So if you're not getting it, it's, it's possible that's why. Okay, so here's how you build your audience. First, you're gonna find a post in the news feed you like. So I found one, um, it was uh, some, uh, Jenny Middleton wrote, Money Monday, three financial perks of home ownership. So I decided that was gonna be my uh, work for the day. And so first I liked the post, then I added a comment, and you always mention the poster's name when you post. Then I added a photo and an emoji. And this is how the algorithm really likes this. So this is what I did for her post that I found in the, in the newsfeed. And I think the really clever thing to do, you know, I don't know if Jenny, how many followers Jenny Middleton has, but again, you want to look for 
you know, obviously content that you think you can add value to by commenting and replying on, but the more connections somebody has, again, if they like or reply back to you, you're now going to be exposed to their entire network. So, you know, engaging with the right types of people uh, is a real pro tip. Uh, again, that's kind of an expert move. I would start trying this out, looking for content that, you know, that you feel like you can add to doing this kind of thing, seeing if it gets you more views, more uh, connections, et cetera, et cetera, because it certainly did for you, Mon, it has for me. Questions? Go ahead. All right. Um, to the right of the news feed is LinkedIn's daily news section. Yep. Okay. And if there's a topic that's appropriate, comment on or reply to someone, comment because look at their numbers. Yep. So LinkedIn, the internet's having a bad day 76,000. When is it time to quit? 59,000. So, like Austin said, pick somebody that's got a lot of comment that's on something that has a lot of viewers. Yeah, when I get LinkedIn, every single day when I go on, I see what is in the LinkedIn news feed. And if there's a topic there, again, I was featured in it uh, once and it was huge for my personal brand and for uh, my standing in LinkedIn. And I know mom's been trying to get into the news feed. I'm sure you will. Um, but the numbers here, in terms of the impressions that you are going to get uh, by, by just commenting and being active in the LinkedIn news, following LinkedIn news, uh, being a creator. So LinkedIn starts to ask you for content and they know who you are. This is going to do wonders for your business because you are going to become a go-to person on LinkedIn for the topic that you are an expert in. Are we good? Any more, any questions about how this works? Okay. I just want to share Brenda in our comments. Hers was really good. It actually, she wrote, helping families save time and headaches in selling inherited homes. And then it says, researching family history and genealogy, licensed realtor and professional genealogy researcher. So it's great how she combined both of those. Yeah, that is beautiful. What an amazing hook because her tribe is people into genealogy. And I'm telling you, anybody who's into genealogy is just fanatic about it. And they're going to go, oh my God, this lady is just like me. I'm going to use her. I would be posting about genealogy. I would be writing articles about genealogy. You want to become the LinkedIn expert on genealogy. And real estate. And, you know, I mean, it's, and, and kind of like you said at the beginning, Heather, LinkedIn is almost like this wild west frontier where, uh, you know, people haven't really figured it out yet. I feel like there's a lot of really sophisticated brand marketers on Instagram and Facebook, and you got to be on those. That's fine. But LinkedIn, you know, it's got, it's, if you can figure it out, I think it's still early days and you can really create a name for yourself and there's less clutter. Speaking of less clutter, let's talk about stories, which they just launched uh, four or five months ago. Yes. Okay. So um, from the home, and so this is um, on your phone. From the home screen on your phone, you click the plus next to your picture and it says your story. So what is that? If that's that little circle. Right here. That little circle. See? And I think this may now be on the desktop version, but at, before it was only on the phone. The phone. I think now it may be on the desktop version the last time I looked, but I always do it from my phone. Uh, so, so again, so you click on this plus and then you can add a video, uh, uh, a photo, whatever you want, visual media. And so this was a, a, you know, a photo that I took in Vegas and I uploaded it. And you can see down here in the bottom, anytime, just like any other social media, you can see who, who is viewing your story. So I had 47 viewers of my story and you can see exactly who's viewing your story. 
which is helpful information because it's if it's somebody you want to talk to or a potential client, you can reach out to them and message them right here. Uh, you can follow people, et cetera. So it's, it's, again, just more metrics for you to figure out who is digging my stuff so that I can go sell to them. And not many people are posting their, on their story yet because it's pretty new. So where did you find that round circle? On your profile? So uh, you go to your news feed. Go, go to the home so it brings you to your news feed and then you should see running across the top some bubbles for your story. Now it may not, are you on your phone on the LinkedIn version of your phone or on your desktop? I was looking on the desktop. I don't see it there. So yeah, so you may have to look on your phone. Yeah, up and when we did the slides in April, it was only available on the phone. It might still be only on your phone. And so you got to link, download the LinkedIn app onto your phone and sign in, and then you should be able to see this again. If you don't get see this once you log into the app on your phone, uh, private message my mom and we'll figure it out. Yeah, I have it on my phone. Okay. Well, check, check yeah, it out. Yeah, check and see if when you log in, it should be the first thing you see. You'll see your news feed and then the stories running across the top. Okay. Okay, so this little circle with me in the chef's uniform, you can add a video cover. Um, but actually now it's on the desktop too. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it used to be only on the mobile. So we're gonna show you how to do that because people ask me a lot, how did you get that video on your cover? So you click on add cover story. You click on this plus here. Okay, you see it says introduce yourself with a 30 second video, add cover story, and that's what you click. Okay, so this is how to do it. So. So first you click on the second option in the pull down menu, which says add cover story. See at the bottom of the, this is his phone, a screenshot of Austin's phone. Okay. Here's your video. Here's yeah. my video. So you click on the eye in the lower left hand corner to see all the LinkedIn members, uh, to set the cover to all LinkedIn members. Yeah, the other option is only to your network and you want everybody to be able to see it. So. Make sure to set it to all LinkedIn members. See, it's the little I yep. at the bottom. So after you upload it, you click on the I and set it to all LinkedIn members. Then you click on add to the profile and you're done. Yeah. Okay, so you, got, you can adjust the preview because it's only going to be your face. And so, and so what happens is when somebody goes to your profile, they'll see your picture and automatically it'll show the first three seconds of your video. And so you want to make sure that the first, first three seconds of your video are engaging enough for somebody to click the whole thing. So just make sure that the first part of your video is good because that's what people are, it's good, LinkedIn is going to preview anytime somebody goes to your profile page. Okay, you have to do this on your phone. So they see the first- Quick question, how long is that video? Just so I can 30 know. seconds. It's 30 seconds, but it only shows three seconds automatically. And then the person has to click on the picture, your little circle to see the other 20, to see all 30. But so does it stay on for amount of time or does it stay up there forever? It, you know, it, it like stays ever. on for three seconds and then goes back to your picture. And Got then it. everybody clicks on it. Yes. Then that goes yeah. to 30 seconds and then it goes away. Yeah. Yeah. But people say, oh, that's so cool. There's this video on your LinkedIn profile. Go to mine and you'll see. And how do you do it? And this is how. But you have to do this on your phone. Do you have to get it approved for marketing or from EXP first or no? Um, no, because it's you're just talking about you and your business. But here's the thing is uh, I wouldn't be really. All right. So I'm coming to this from the designated managing broker standpoint. <laughs> I am not worried about EXP marketing. I'm worried about my real estate division because I'm the one who had to defend my agents when they did something mad, bad. And then it, me as the broker had to go in and defend them and keep them or cut down the fines, blah, blah, blah. So I would check with your broker and your state requirements because 
the EXP marketing people are probably not going to come down on you, but I can tell you here in Nevada, um, my agents funded the Nevada real estate division because they gave them a $500 fine every time they didn't have EXP Realty in their license number on their Facebook post. But it's a great question, Melissa. I think to your point, I would keep it more about you and the services that you offer. And, you know, if, if you think it's something that wouldn't get approved in a brochure, then it, you probably shouldn't put it in your video. But it should be, you know, something about you that, that, that is engaging and, and, and will attract people to you and, and get them to know you, which should be uh, cool and copacetic and kosher with, with uh, the regulators. Yeah. Hopefully. They're more important than the marketing. The marketing people are important, but I'm telling you, you'll get five. They'll tell you to stop. The real estate division is going to find you. So just be careful of them. But, you know, if you, a smiling face and talking about you because you're authentic, you'll be great. Yeah. Go ahead. We have about 10 more minutes before we have to wrap it up. And we are doing a second session. Um, let We're going to schedule that second session while everybody's on here so they know. Um, okay. If you could just pull out your calendar, not in next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, which would be the 28th. Let's follow up with, is that okay with the both yeah, of you yeah, of the yeah, second perfect. session? Okay, great. So I know, you know, it's just timing. And there's a lot of info, great information. And Michelle even says, this is freaking good stuff. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. I mean, when Austin taught me this, I didn't know any of this. And I, I was a, a rube because, you know, I was a Facebook person. And, and after this, I'm hooked and I thought Instagram reels are cool, so I do them. But other than that, I've given up on Facebook platforms because this has just been so amazing. When you're seeing amazing success. I mean, yeah. if you looked at your statistics before you made it a priority and used some of these things, you've grown your impressions tenfold mm -hmm. and your own personal brand and that you've got Five momentum. Months. Yeah, and you've got momentum. I, I think you're going to keep continuing that momentum because – Again, there's 770 million members, so <laughs> there's plenty of opportunity. And pretty much anybody who is a professional between just out of college to even recently retired or even five, 10 years into, into retirement is probably on LinkedIn. So, hey, I am facing my 42nd, 29th birthday. So I am definitely. You're, look, you're on it in a big way. So yep. there you go. Okay. So let's finish up with this slide and then maybe the next slide or something. Yeah, and, that's right. we, we can, and then, we can, I mean, can. I keep, normally people just ask questions in the chat box, but everybody's so busy in taking everything in but, and they can just keep watching the recording because I know I started to follow along and then I just got lost. And so I just followed you. It's, it's complicated. So you can follow the recording, but this is a um, Google slide. And if you PM me on Workplace, Beth Ellen Rosenthal, I will send you the entire deck. So that way you, you can look at it on your phone, your computer. You can be an old style person like me and print it out <laughs> and follow along. So don't think you have to, if you got lost, you're not, you're found because just PM me and I'll be happy to share this with you because we're EXP family. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. I'll let you go back to finishing up with this. This great, this great yeah. LinkedIn. Are there any final questions? I know it's, you know, we, I, I want to give you guys five minutes back of your valuable day. So, uh, you know, we'll get you, you ask for the slides if you want them. We hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And we, Look forward to coming back in a couple of weeks. Bring your questions and, uh, you know, play around, you know, uh, see, uh, play around with the platform, create some posts, see how it goes. And, and then we'll talk uh, in a couple of weeks. Ma, is there anything else you want to well, finish on? But I also want um, people to come to my Google Guide session because right now I am approaching 2 million views and it, it took me two years but judy burke in california which is a bigger market in a year she now has four million views and she has closed three over one million dollar sales of course it's california so that's probably the median price 
but from her link, from her Google guides, because people saw her on Google, loved her pictures and called or texted her. Wow. And she got three, $1 million, over $1 million sales from becoming a Google guide. And she has 4 million and I have gotten one. So can you tell everybody where to find you, what time, what day, and Okay, so we are actually, so Jerome Lewis, Sheila Cahoon, and I teach the Content Creators Mastermind every Thursday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, in EXP University's Productivity Center. They've added so many rooms that now you have to scroll down because we're at the bottom, so when you first pull it up, it's not there. And we are going to do this again there because people in the content creators want to learn how to do this again. The following week, and it's Thursday morning, the following week, we're going to do Google Guides there. So you can come to that and hear it as well if you don't want to wait. And then at 11 o'clock Pacific, which is, I guess, 1 o'clock o'clo- um, Eastern, Jerome Lewis leads the Social Media Mastermind, and I'm a co-teacher, but it's his class. And I think this is, this week he has a guest who's going to come in and teach us how to do um, Google advertising. So how to do Google ads, I'm pretty sure. So it's going to be a really great session. He's going to have a guest. So uh, it's Thursday morning, we call it um, technology learning day. So that's what we do. And of course, it's free too, because we're EXPers. Thank you so much. Um, Donald, do you want to pop in and tell everybody what next Tuesday is, please? Yeah, next next Tuesday, we are having one of our own, Andrew Smith, who will be teaching us avatars and niches. So you really want to you really want to stay tuned. I've, I've already gone through this uh, through another class here at EXP. And he does a fantastic job. Um, so understanding your niche and why niches and avatars are very important. And I'm not talking about EXP world avatars. So it's, it, it, it's a great session. You won't want to miss it. It will be recorded as always. Um, but we look forward to having everybody back next week, next Tuesday, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, so Donald, with that, can you please email Eve? That's my business partner, Eve, down there. Say hi, Eve. Or I'm pointing, and she's different, somewhere different on your screen. But um, Eve is the one who does all of our flyers. So you are going to find statistics on avatars and everything else on my next flyer that Eve is going to be doing. If you guys ever need flyers done, she's great. You can contact her. Just reach out to me, and I'll give you her information. She's really good. Uh, anything else you guys need, you can always reach out to Donald, myself, Debbie, or Laura, one of the board members, and we will be happy to help you out. We also have another group that's in regular Facebook that you can follow, and it's the Seniors Network Group, and we'd love for you guys to follow us there, and that's just for other real estate agents around to be able to collaborate with us, not just in-house, because we would love to be able to help everybody or and be able to learn other techniques and stuff. I think our groups are kind of unique given that we're entering a market of the 55 and it's a niche that not many people know about. So we'll see you next Tuesday, same place, same time. Thank you, Beth Ellen. I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity. Bye now. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Hi. Great presentation. Oh, hello.